This is my aquaponics system. Eleven hundred litre pond. Using a two hundred litre barrel as a solids separator pre-filter before it goes into the bio filter right there. A thousand litre ag drum. From there, nit denitrifying, I should say, nitrifying bacteria will be converting ammonium nitrogen into ammonia, then nitrite, and into nit nitrate, which is harmless to fish, but is nutrient for my vegetables that I'll be growing in this floating raft system. So, I'll be growing like lettuce, bok choy, kale begin with and grow shallots as well aiming to keep the pH of the system at, at 7 or below so this system here so far I can grow about a hundred lettuce and in here should be able to grow about a hundred small fish to supply the nutrient I'm moving through here to show you. So, water pump with a T junction and a valve on there to regulate the, the flow of water going out of the pond into 200 litre barrel via that output line there. It goes up and into the center of this barrel. Show you. This is a solids separator pre-filter. The water comes up through a stand-up pipe and flows back downward. Gravity vortex pulling the solid matter to the bottom of the barrel. This cylinder within a cylinder will separate, control the flow of water down to the very bottom down in here. Solids will settle at the bottom down here. I have a drain valve there to separate the solids. Only clean water will come up to the top of the barrel between in a cylinder within a cylinder. Overflows into the bio filter here. Expands up to 90 mil pipe. The pipe runs in via a right angle join right there water goes down to the very bottom I have milk crates down here creating a void space and the media that I'm using in here at the moment is simple bird netting I've got an air pump here but I supply six outlets, most importantly for my floating raft systems over here. This is where I'll be growing my lettuce. This is a continuous flow deep water cultured system where water from the output here, the it, it, uh, it has no ammonia, no nitrite, only nitrates mostly and nutrient, which will be going into the floating raft system. This, this one here I should be able to grow about two dozen lettuce. In here I can grow about 75 if I really squeeze it. But it's all factored down to kind of fish, growth rate and feed efficiency ratios. This large floating raft system here that I, I made out of wood crates, wooden pallets throw outs. I made the whole floating raft with a continuous base, I lifted up the sides, plywood that was throw out, and I've lined the inner part of it with plywood so that the butyl rubber liner doesn't catch on anything. 
the outlets from here back to the pond from both Deepwater Cultured Systems for lettuce in here, the one metre tub, one and a half metre uh, system I build out of wood, wood crates, the outlets. The purpose of this is so that nitrates, which is a form of nitrogen and oxygen, can be absorbed by the plants that are growing in here. So you can grow vegetable crops and collectively they act as a nitrate filter so that you never have to do water changes and you can keep maximum stocking densities way beyond standard by having an excessive biofilter media here. I got a thousand litres of biomedia here for an 1100 litre pond. A thousand litres could actually do a four to five thousand litre pond. So I'm doing that so that I can actually grow yabbies down in here. So this is the poly house. I'll give you an update on this. But as you can see, I've managed to get it to no leaks now. And the system is functioning for the last three days. Most important thing is the valve down here on the spray bar is actually controlling the flow of water out of the pond directly into the barrel here. Most important thing you must design in this is that your overflow you allow at least three to five inches from the top of the barrel for excessive pump flow rate. So with this valve down here I can regulate the flow of water going into my filter in here <clears throat> as you can see in here it's about three inches no leaks air pump supplies oxygen into my biofilter also under here apart from netting I'm using raw oyster shells but because I want to keep the pH down to seven uh, using raw oyster shells as a constant source of calcium for my vegetable crops that I'll be growing here, my lettuce, my pak choy. It also helps to keep the KH value of the pH up high so that if there are natural fluctuations in the poly house during the day due to plants absorption of carbon dioxide produce starches that whole process can actually change the pH with respect to temperature. With raw oyster shell, enough of it in the media can buffer your pH so that it's also a source of calcium, so that the KH values are raised so that fluctuations in pH will not be occurring. So instead of using the whole filter with raw oyster shell, it would suck up all ammonium nitrogen out of the system, which defeats the purpose of trying to um, provide a source of nitrogen for my vegetable plants. So instead I've used the netting, and I've put an air stone percolating through the air netting so I get lots of aerobic conditions.